Hola, 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 caballeros y damas. Aquí estamos. Here we are at the Florida History Museum, or the Museum of Florida History in Tallahassee, specifically in their Meeting of the Cultures exhibit. Now, I have asked them to put away or to tune down. They had wonderful birds and it really did feel like you were in that time zone. But since I know you all want to hear my lovely voice and information about the Spanish heritage, they were very nice and obliging me in toning that down. Now we are going to speak to Miss Lisa. She has done major research on this exhibit and hello, how are you? Thank you for your time. Thanks for being here. Now, if you could please tell us why we should even care for Florida's Hispanic heritage. Is there one? And did it really make a difference to our nation? Of course it did. Um, Spain was vitally important to what happened in Florida's history. Um, they first landed in Florida in 1513, and um, from that point on, um, started changing um, Florida um, because they came into a state where there were, um, you know, thous thousands of native peoples living here, and their uh, ways of life were impacted by the Spanish presence. And also, Spain founded St. Augustine, which was the first um, and oldest permanent um, settlement in what is now the United States. Excellent. Now, if you could give us, I don't want you to give it all away because it is worthy of visiting, and I hope everyone who's looking at this does come and visit. Just give us the highlights or, or what you think in this little mini tour you should uh, really look at for mm -hmm. them to take with them. Well, um, definitely in this section of the Forever Changed exhibit, um, take a look at the five life size figures who are in this section. Um, they represent actual people who were in Florida um, in the 16th century, and they each have really interesting stories to share. Um, they were on expeditions. Um, some went okay, some didn't go so well. Um, so I think we, we have lessons to learn from that. Um, and also, uh, we have some hands-on elements in this part of the exhibition. Um, some, an example of chain mail that the Spaniards would have worn, and um, also some computer interactives that people of all ages can, um, can interact with and, and learn and have fun at the same time. Oh, wonderful. Uh, speaking of the five, now uh, obviously, Bibi being female, would like to know about the Anna, mm -hmm. and because most people do not think of females being on board the Spanish ships and doing so forth, and then let's have a bicultural with Mr. Ortiz, after you let us know about Miss Anna. Okay, um, right. Anna, Anna Mendez was um, one of the um, persons on the Hernando de Soto expedition to Florida in 1539. She was only one of two Spanish women on the trip. She was the only woman survivor. Um, she was only about 14 years old when she came over. She was a servant of one of the expedition's officers. Um, and she did um, travel th with De Soto's army the entire um, time they were in the United States, a total of four years. She did make it back to Spain. Um, and, you know, we assume she lived out a, a long and happy life back in Spain. Now, it's amazing, a little uncanny and even a little scary, how well done mm -hmm. this exhibit is and, and the people. So let's go on and see Mr. Ortiz. Mm -hmm. 